Hello everyone and welcome to our final episode of Silent Hill 2. This is our Silent Hill 2's ending guide in which what we'll do is we'll go through the game and point out everything you need to do to get all of the endings as well as see all the endings. And then once we've seen all the endings we will uh, have a quick talk about them and try to figure out what just happened and why. Uh, this is going to be very similar to our first Silent Hill endings guide. So if you saw that, you can expect much of the same. To start, we're up here in apartment 205. And the reason that we're starting up at 205 is because if you did not have a guide on how to get the endings, the game actually does something pretty clever to help guide you to the right ending. Because right here, there is a book that appears in subsequent playthroughs. There's a note with a cutout magazine article attached to it. There's a title written on the front side. Searching for another conclusion. The Road to Tomorrow The first step to a healthy life is to avoid illness. That may sound obvious, but it's also very important. Instead of working to heal yourself after you're sick, it's better to avoid getting sick in the first place. So in our first ending, we got the in-water ending. And in order to get that ending, you basically have to make sure you're never, you're never not in the green, so to speak. So when you look at your health bar, you always need to be at max health. That's why they give you so many healing potions in this game. Because they want you to make sure that even if you do get hit, you have a chance to heal yourself instantly, which will allow you to get these other endings. Also, you have to maintain a positive, optimistic outlook on life. It's no use worrying over things that have happened in the past. So don't do anything that triggers past ideas or influencers. So don't look at the letter. Don't look at the picture. Don't look at Angela's knife. Don't read the, or I should say instead of reading, don't listen to the headset after you see the videotape. Don't do any of that. Just, just focus on everything that's on the here and now. you got to get outside and play in the fresh air once in a while instead of just sitting inside reading difficult books. Again, this alludes to the fact that James spent a lot of his time um, when, Maria, when Mary was sick by reading medical journals. The first ending, the in-water ending, kind of had to do everything you can to be as suicidal as possible and as nostalgic as possible. So go through the end or go through the entire game without keeping your life at green level. You always want to be on the verge of dying. Take hits, get hit often is what I mean. And do everything you can to connect with the past. I look at the look at the picture of Mary, look read her letter, anything you can do. Uh, there's a diary on top of the hospital that you can read in the corner when Pyramid Head throws you off. There's a radio thing that you can listen to after you read the videotape. And there's also the dialogue which happens when you're standing in the hallway. Uh, you just wait for that entire dialogue to finish before moving on to the final fight. If you do this and you try to be mean to Mary or you do enough of this to basically override the Mar the Maria's ending, not Mary, Maria. Uh, this is how you get the in water ending. It was our first ending and we got it naturally because we explored everywhere and we looked at everything and that's just what we did. But if you want to get this, if you don't want to get this ending, don't look at the knife in your inventory um, and don't do anything nostalgic. Mary? <laughs> Wrong again. Mary's dead. You killed her. Maria? Maria, I'm done with you. What do you mean? But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever, and I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. Now 
now I understand. The problem is, you're not married. No, James. I won't let you. I'll never let you have your Mary back. Mary? James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. <coughs> no. That's not the whole truth. You also said that you didn't want to die. The truth is, part of me hated you for taking away my life. You killed me, and you're suffering for it. It's enough, James. Now I understand the real reason I came to this town. I wonder, what was I afraid of? Without you, Mary, I've got nothing. Now we can be together. I'm not sure if I mentioned this with Maria's ending, but another thing that you can do to try to trigger her ending, in addition to, you know, treating her right, not running into her, uh, always staying healed and not looking at past items to avoid the leave ending. Another thing you can do is constantly go in and out of the, uh, the hospital here where you leave her off and just come in and out. And talk to her over and over and over again and stay in this area. I'll be okay, and if you do that, you'll have a you higher chance of activating her ending. Additionally, later on when you're in the jail cell, I believe if you try to go back to see her, that's another good thing that you can do. So anything that, can, anything that really evolves around treating maria like she's the most important thing in james Liz's life is what you need to do it's also good to just stay on this scene for about a minute or two just like it's good to hang out in the hospital scene and she actually gets up from the chair and she goes over to a bed and she sits on the bed and then i believe if you leave you want to try to come back as well to see her and by doing these little things, you're basically telling the game, hey, I I I'm trying to care for Maria because I came back for her. Treat her okay. Listen to her. Don't let her get hurt. Uh, make sure your HP is always max so you don't trigger the in water as well as don't look at things in the past. After you fight the abstract daddy, I think it's called the, uh, the, the boss that haunts uh, uh, Angela, 
you you'll see a scene with Maria shortly after when you get when you solve the uh, riddle with the uh, the six uh, convicted criminals, uh, and then you go to room two wait, and once again, try to go back through the door. I don't want to, but I will have to just leave her like this. And the idea is that hey, you're trying once again. You're trying to do what you need to do to let the game know that you care about Maria. So right after you defeat the pyramid heads, you run into this long Maria. alley. What do you want, James? And you get the dialogue. I, uh, I brought you some flowers. You want to flowers? just? I don't want any damn flowers? Just get out of here. Go home already. As soon as possible. Larry, what are you saying? Look. Disgusting. Run straight for the door. Don't let, don't let that dialogue continue. And you just want to get out of there because at the, the idea of listening to dialogue is you're showing that you care for Mary because you stop to listen to, you know, the past. And again, in order to get the Maria ending, you want to do everything you can to avoid the past and instead focus on the present, which is this new Mary replacement in Maria. Now, if we go up these long steps, we should also get a different dialogue here before the final boss. And let's see. Yeah, she's on the bed now. I think before she was standing by the window, if I'm not mistaken. James, I've been waiting. Mary. I'm sorry it took so long. Didn't you want to see me? Yes, I wanted to see you. Even an illusion of you. That's why I came here. It's not true, is it? You killed me. I couldn't watch you suffer. Don't make excuses, James. <laughs> I know I was a burden on you. You must have hated me. That's why you got rid of me. It's true. I may have had some of those feelings. It was a long three years. I was... That's why you needed this Maria person? James, do you really think I could ever forgive you for what you did? Is this where we met Maria to begin with? I think it is. You killed Mary again? That wasn't Mary. Mary's gone. That was just something I... Maria? Maria? What, James? I want you. I want you with me. Are you sure? Come on. Let's get out of here. What about Mary? It's okay. I have you. Oh, look, they're coming up. Getting out of this town together. You'd better do something about that cough. 
Whoa! Whoa, that is... That is messed up! Okay, so let's talk about this ending. I think this is probably the most messed up ending so far. Now we've only seen two, but still. The fact that he replaces his dead wife with a pseudo version of her is already messed up. But secondly, the fact that it seems like Maria is getting sick at the end and he basically threatens her by saying, hey, if, you, if, if you're getting sick, you're going to end up in the ground too. That's just wrong in so many ways. Whoa. Okay, so that was the Maria ending. Uh, if I had to rank them so far, I still think the first ending has my vote. Especially since someone told me that apparently... He drove to this town with her corpse always in her trunk. So after getting tormented in this town and realizing what he did, he then took the car with the corpse of his dead wife in the trunk and drove it off into the lake, thus allowing them to be together in the afterlife, supposedly. Either way, even if her corpse wasn't in the trunk, and he decided to go off. Um, it, it's still messed up. Uh, it, it reminds me a lot of the bad ending from the first game. So there we are. We have two endings in the books. The next ending that we need to get is the final ending before the special endings. Uh, which is the leave ending. Uh, so we've seen in water and Maria. So only one thing left to do, and that's just to continue on. To get the leave ending, you want to do two things. One, make sure your health is always in the green. And what that does is it avoids the in water ending. Also, don't do anything that might cause James suicidal thoughts or think of the past. So don't look at the knife, don't look at the pictures, don't read the letters. Uh, don't look at the diary on top of the hospital. Uh, don't listen to the uh, the recording of the doctor after you view the videotape. Don't do any of that. And be mean to Maria. How do you be mean to Maria? Well, you bump into her like this. And you just basically treat her like trash if you can. You know, you just push her around. And by mean, mean to Maria, uh, you'll make sure you don't get the Maria ending. Uh, another thing you can do to not trigger the Marie ending is don't go back and see her once she's in the hospital. Don't go back into that jail cell if you can. Uh, just ignore her as much as possible. Another thing you could do, take your wooden plank and uh, um, uh, do that twice. Because that'll probably work too. Uh, you'll notice that the color is green. I, I can actually change the blood color, which is really, really nice. So I've been going with the green blood color just for the fun. Uh, but yeah, if you do this and you just run into her and you be mean to her and you don't do anything that you're supposed to do to get her ending, uh, you'll not get her ending. And then it's just a matter of making sure you don't get the in, in water ending, which is actually pretty easy to do as long as you can stay healthy and uh, not pick up those items. It's actually kind of hard to run into her now that I think about it. So hit it with the stick a couple times. That'll help. And then, of course, beat the game without any of the rebirth items in your inventory. I'll see you at the ending in just a second. So you just killed the two pyramid heads, and you want to avoid Mary, the in water ending. What do you want, James? Once again, I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Get through this. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. As fast as possible. Home already. Don't listen Mary, to them. What are you saying? Don't remind yourself of your past. I don't deserve. To get the leave ending, you effectively want to make sure you have treated both Mary, subsequently your past, in any suicidal emotions, and Maria as pieces of trash. Uh, make sure you don't care at all about Mary. Make sure you don't care at all about Maria. 
And I know that sounds horrible, but those are kind of the things you need to do. So don't look at the uh, knife. Don't look at the letter. Don't look at the picture. Don't look at the diary on top of the hospital. Uh, don't listen to headphones um, here after you listen to videotape and hit Maria over the head with the stick a few times. I know that sounds horrible, but it's the best way to make sure you can get the ending you want. Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary's dead. You killed her. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James. And of course, kill the boss. Mary? <coughs> James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that 
this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most. Especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. Aw, he's here with Laura. To say hello to Mary. Or goodbye to Mary. Huh. That was sweet. Game results. Our fastest clear time of 2 hours, 12 minutes, 4 seconds. Try to go as quickly as I could. Um, but, you know. Uh, for some reason, my first ending isn't showing up in the ending clear. If it says 304 plus 1, it should say 404 plus 1. I'm not concerned about that. Uh, Y'all saw our first ending in our playthrough. So, it's... You know I did it. Whether or not the game says I did... Doesn't matter to me. We got the in-water ending in our first try. That's good enough. But 
that ending, let's talk about that ending real quick. That ending is probably the happiest ending of them all. The the idea being that James was able to move on. And it looks like he ends up adopting Laura. Uh, which is something that Mary wanted to do. And I don't know if that fits the world of Silent Hill. Uh, it, it's nice to see a, you know, a cathartic ending. It's nice to have that feeling of warmth in a game like this. But I still think the, uh, uh, the, the world that this game existed in, um, the in-water ending is still probably my favorite. Just like the bad end was my favorite in Silent Hill 1. Because it, it just it just made most sense. In a world that makes no sense. That that's how the game should end. You know? Uh, the idea that he kills himself with the corpse of his wife in his car. Um, it's, it's tragic, but it just feels like it it feels like it fits the world now that ending by far the the happiest don't get me wrong and the maria ending is just messed up okay i mean the idea that he takes a fake wife home with him and the fake wife will end up catching the same disease that mary caught or at least that's what i'm assuming the implications were that's, I mean, it, it's, it, 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 <laughs> I, I, yeah, like I said, that, that ending is by far the most messed up. All right, well, we got in all of the base endings. You'll see next the rebirth ending, and then the UFO, and then the dog. So let's get right to it. In the coin room of apartment 105, we check our map here. This is the other side of the apartments. Uh, what we need to do is just do a 180, come here into the kitchen, and there's this white little, don't know exactly what to call this, it's called a white chrism. And that is the first item that you need in order to get the rebirth ending. The glass bottle containing milky white anointing oil. So we're at the Texan gas station, which is right here on the map, and... There's a little slot thing right here. And when you get it, you get a book called The Lost Memories. The name comes from the legend of the people whose land was stolen from them. They called this place the place of the silent spirits. By spirits, they meant not only their dead relatives, but also the spirits that they believed inhabited the trees, rocks, and waters around them. According to legend, this was where the holiest ceremonies took place. But it was not the ancestors of those who now live in this town that first stole the land from these people. There were others who came before. In those days, this town went by another name, but that name is now hopelessly lost in the veils of time. All we know is that there was another name, and that for some reason, the town was once abandoned by its residents. And that is the second item that we need in order to get the rebirth ending. The third item that you need in the rebirth ending is the Subsidian Goblet that you find right here in the Historical Society. Uh, in terms of context, this is the second room. Uh, the first room being this one that has that painting of uh, Pyramid Head that you can examine. You just come in through the door, you go through here, and you get the third item. Now, if you're playing on, if you plan on playing to get all the endings in three playthroughs, you want to make sure you get these first three items as you go through the game. The fourth item, you want to create a split save file. Because once you pick up the fourth item, you're guaranteed to get the rebirth ending. And you're going to miss out on the second ending that you would have gotten. Whether it's in water, leave, or Maria, based on what you got the first time through. So make sure you definitely pick up these items. Don't be afraid of getting them. They're not going to change anything until you get all four. So once we get to the fourth item, uh, that'll be it. And you're locked into the ending. But for now, go ahead and scoop these three items up. Make your life easier so you, you don't have to play through the game four or five times to get all the endings. 
Now, of course, you can because the game's a lot of fun. But for the purpose of this guide, just pick up these three items and then make sure you have a split save for the fourth. The final key to any number four, the rebirth ending, is getting this book, The Crimson Ceremony. Now, you get this book shortly after you watch the videotape. You go down to the second floor reading room and it's right across from the, uh, the headset. The title is Crimson Ceremony. Speak, I am the Crimson One. The lies and the mist are not they, but I. You all know that I am one. Yes, and the one is I. Believers, hearken to me. Twenty score men and seven thousand beasts. Heed my words and speak at them to all, that they shall ever be obeyed even under the light of the proud and merciless sun. I shall bring down bitter vengeance upon thee, and thou shalt suffer my eternal wrath. The beauty of the withering flower and the last struggles of the dying man, they are my blessings. Thou shalt ever call upon me, and all that is me in the place that is silent. O oh, proud fragrance of life which flies towards the heart, O oh, cup which brims with the whitest of wine, it is in thee that all begins. Well, that's interesting. I have no idea how this ending plays out, by the way, so I'm really excited to figure out what's going on. Uh, by the way, if you do not want to get the, uh, to get the in water ending, don't listen to this, uh, radio, by the way. Uh, but it doesn't matter at this point, because regardless of what ending you should have gotten, if you had the Lost Memories, the Crimson Ceremony, the White Chrism, and the Obsidian Goblet in your inventory, when you beat the game, you automatically get the rebirth ending, which is what we're going to do right now. James. Maria, I'm finished with you. What? But I'm what you wanted. Mary's dead. Don't you understand? She's not coming back. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. I'll never hurt you like she did. Well, why don't you want me? Because you're not Mary. Without Mary, I just can't go on. Oh, Jane. Come on, James. You must be joking. Mary. You look so peaceful. Forgive me for waking you. But without you, I just can't go on. I can't live without you, Mary. This town, Silent Hill, the old gods haven't left this place. And they still grant power to those who venerate them power to defy even death. Oh, that was it? Oh, come on. I was expecting a, uh, you know, to see if he actually brought it back or not. Oh, talk about ambiguous. 
Alright, let's uh, wait for the credits and then we'll see if there's anything at the end. No, there was nothing left. So, I think... I think I may prefer it. The ambiguity. Because, let's not forget, that's kind of the... That's kind of Silent Hill's thing. Is not necessarily giving you direct answers, but giving you subtle clues and subtle hints on what can and can't be. Uh, don't forget, in the extra story, we did learn about the white chemical that could give rebirth. And here we had the white chrism thing. Uh, so, did it work? Did he bring back his lost love? Or did he lose his mind in it? I, I don't know, but like I said, I, I think I, I think I dig that. I, I think I'm happy with not knowing what exactly happened. Well, this was the rebirth ending. Uh, this is the final of the regular endings. So next up are the joke endings, which include the UFO and the dog. So let's get to that. Just like in the original Silent Hill, to get the UFO ending, you have to pick up a medallion of sorts and then use it in a few different places. Now, thankfully for us, the medallion is really easy to get in this version, um, but not easy to get. So we got the blue gem, which is the item we need uh, to use to signal the UFO. However, in order for this item to appear at this spot, you have to complete both the main campaign and the sub campaign. So it's the UFO ending. It's because of the UFO ending that I decided to show off the sub scenario first rather than jumping right into the ending. So let's uh, go through here and figure out the spots we're supposed to use it. After you get locked in the room with those um those things that hang from the ceiling and like take their feet and try to strangle you you know the room where uh, Laura locks you in you find yourself here in the garden and it's dark it's raining uh this is your first location where you need to use the blue gem Hey, I remember that. And off it flies. So that's location number one of three. Just after you have slain Eddie, you walk outside. Before you get into the boat to head to the hotel, you want to go ahead and use the blue gem here. I like the, the music there. That was really, really cool. This is the second out of three spots. So if you want to use this playthrough to get multiple endings, what you need to do is before you use it in the final spot to make sure you put a save. That way, when you use it a third time and the game ends, you can just reload back at that save and then continue playing. And the final piece to the UFO ending is you have to use a bluestone here before you listen to the tape. If you listen to the tape, you get transported into the other Silent Hill, and by then it's too late. By the way, I just want to take a moment to reflect on how awesome James looks in the light here. He almost looks like a ghost, which kind of matches the, uh, the whole story of the game, you know, that he's fighting his inner demons and everything. I just thought that was cool. So let's go ahead and check out the UFO ending for Silent Hill 2. That's a lot of ships. Harry, sorry, uh, James, who, who are you? <laughs> it's Harry Mason. Harry, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair. Uh, what are you talking about? Anyway, listen, please say I'm looking for my wife. Yes, have you seen my wife? Her name's Mary. <laughs> Whoa! Arg! 
No, James! Harry's <laughs> giving the alien a thumb up. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, that is, that is, that is absolutely incredible. Oh, I love the continuity between Silent Hill 1's UFO ending and Silent Hill 2 UFO ending. And the credits seem to go by super fast on that one. Man, that was incredible. So yes, that was the UFO ending. Uh, I kind of had to play these endings slightly out of order because of the way uh, the playthroughs work. Uh, but this will be the fifth ending on the video. The last ending being the dog ending. And I'm really intrigued by that because if the UFO endings are this good, I can't wait to see what that one's about. Which you will see in just a moment. So to get the last ending, the dog ending, you have to beat the game with the in-water ending, the leaf ending, and the Maria ending, or get the rebirth ending. Now, if you play through a second time, and on that second playthrough, you get one of the other endings and the rebirth ending, then on your third and final playthrough, you can get the other ending, uh, the third ending that you missed, whether it's Leave, In Water, or Maria. And then, as you come out of Rosewater Park, this is actually, I, I love how they do this because it's almost as if you can't miss it. But as you come out of Rosewater Park, if you run completely straight, you'll hit this fenced area and a doghouse will appear. This item is not here in the original playthrough. It's just an empty lot. Go ahead and come up to the doghouse. And you got the dog key from the doghouse. Now the dog key is no idea where to use it. But when you use the dog key, you automatically activate the dog ending. So you don't have to go around, use this shiny stone in three different spots. You don't have to find four different items. You just have to get the key. But the trick is you got to get all the endings or the rebirth ending, which makes this one of the more time consuming endings to get because you have to do everything first. After playing the videotape and finding out the truth behind Mary, all you have to do is come to the observation room with the dog key and open the door. Really fascinating to see why this ending is called dog. That was a strange sound effect. Let's go. I used the dog key. Uh... It's a dog pulling levers? With cameras everywhere? So it was all your work. So it was the dog who did it all. Of course. <laughs> this is music. <laughs> this is what is going on here? It's super catchy though. Like, this is, <laughs> this is just so weird. <laughs> what is that? James all buff and now he's growling at Andy. What is going on here? <laughs> oh, this is... Oh. Oh, man. I had the biggest smile on my face right now. After playing Silent Hill 2 and getting every single ending for it to end like this. <laughs> and look! It's almost like queued up to the actions on the left.
I have like a little pyramid hat to the left. <laughs> So good. I remember playing a virtue last reward and I the somnium files and that and those games made me cry and laugh so that I was crying but I never expected to laugh and I'm solid deal too <laughs> oh all right well that was Silent Hill 2 with all the endings and oh boy what a ride this was uh hoo, hoo, hoo. I, I can honestly say that this game took me a very long time to get all the endings uh it took three complete playthroughs I thought I could cheese the game by playing through the apartment areas and then the third playthrough load up after the apartment area so that way we can um get the leaf ending uh and the doghouse ending uh the only problem was i tried doing that and the doghouse does not exist so you basically have to clear the second playthrough um on rebirth and then launch a new game before before getting this ending uh, ending clear. Two out of four plus two. See, I, I don't understand this. I don't understand that system because, I mean, it should say four out of four plus two, right? But regardless, regardless, uh, we have gotten all the endings on Silent Hill 2. And I can just say that it has been an absolute pleasure. Uh, just this game is so good. In so many ways. I, I I think, honestly, this game almost transcends the survival horror genre. Because the story that it tells is so good. I mean, this story is one that can be in an RPG, a visual novel. Um, I mean, I'm a story-based gaming channel. And I did not expect Silent Hill 2. Uh, this, this game was just... It's just so good. It really, really is. And if you have not played Silent Hill 2 uh, and you watch this playthrough, go ahead and play it sometime. Do yourself a favor. Go in the description below. Uh, go to these awesome guys' web page, uh, The Town of Silent Hill, I think it's called. And uh, go download this for the PC and enjoy it. It is, it is truly amazing. I want to thank everyone for being a part of this ride. I love you guys so very much, and I can't say how much y'all mean to me. I hope you enjoyed this this video of us talking about the endings, how to get the endings, and then showing them off, and then just sitting through them and witnessing the glory of Silent Hill 2. Uh, if you like this game, don't forget to uh, thumbs up this video and subscribe to our channel. Uh, but we will be playing Silent Hill 3 soon. How soon? Depends. Because I've always said that you can't get complacent with horror. Because if you do, horror is no longer scary. And if horror is no longer scary, then what's the point of horror? Uh, so what we're going to be doing 
we'll be playing Space Quest 2, which is a comedy point and click adventure. Considering how quick Space Quest 2 went, uh, if Space Quest 2 goes by in like four to five videos, we may do Space Quest 3 after Space Quest 2 and then come back to Silent Hill 3. I need to make sure enough time has passed so that way we can, uh, we can enjoy Silent Hill 3 the right way in the right mindset. Ready to be scared, ready to be terrorized, ready to have our minds destroyed by these geniuses who make these amazing games. Uh, so, come join us then. Now, before we exit the video, the House of Fate and Morgana pointed out that, hey, Flatless Bird, I noticed you didn't play the introduction. So, I'm going to go ahead and run the introduction and uh, we'll end this series with the beginning. And the reason I didn't play the introduction to begin with is because it actually doesn't start up when you start up the game. And after I witnessed the first few minutes of it, I realized, oh, uh, there seems to be some major spoilers in here. Uh, so I made sure that I did not uh, show it off. And here's all the endings. Introduction collage. James, honey. Did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? Thank you everyone, thank you Konami, thank you to the modders who did this amazing update to the PC Enhanced Edition, and until next time, so long, 
and take care. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.